What if you could turn a single image into a full video with perfect lip sync, sound effects, and character consistency in just minutes? Thanks to Google's VO3 latest update, that's now possible. Check this out. They said peace was my destiny, but peace never came without fire. When the old voices falter, new ones must rise. If fear is the only path you see, then step aside. They outnumber us ten to one. But they forget. They've never faced me. I am Ayana, daughter of flame, forged in winter, unshaken forever. We are not here to survive the story. We are here to rewrite it. Let's take a moment to appreciate this trailer. So in this video, I'll show you how to generate your character image, animate them using Google VO3, give you tips on how to maintain a consistent voiceovers because video from VO3 create different voices on every generation. And finally, how to produce a polished professional video like the one you just saw. Let's dive in. Before we start the tutorial proper, let me quickly address how you could access Google VO3. There are multiple ways. The first way is through Google Flow, which is Google's AI filmmaking tool. But the challenge with accessing Google VO3 through this platform is that it's quite expensive and it's not accessible to everyone around the world. You could also access it as well through Google Gemini, but the same is the case, it's quite expensive. Another way you could access Google VO3 as well would be through multiple all-in-one AI platforms like OpenArt. In this tutorial, I will show you how you could use Google VO3 through OpenArt, as well as how you could use it through Google Flow, depending on where you are in the world you could choose the platform that you prefer now that is out of the way let's get into creating the image when it comes to generating faceless videos like what we just saw at the beginning of this tutorial it's important to first create your script build out the character before generating the image it's important that i mention that i'm starting with the image generation process because i already know what i want to showcase in this tutorial and also i want to show you how you could use just one single image to build out a full video with that being said when it comes to image generation you could use any ai image generator out there of your choice i personally prefer to use midjourney but if there's a specific image generation tool you would like for me to cover leave the name in the comment section and i'll be sure to cover that tool in subsequent tutorials coming into mid journey this is the character that i wanted to create and let's quickly look at the prompt that i used a 20 year old african female warrior in disney pixar style then I described the details of the clothes, wearing extravagant white and gold layered fancy armor. And then I described her facial expression, describes the background. I also wanted it to be highly detailed and highly realistic. I used the stylize of 650 here and as well as raw mode. And I was able to generate a couple of these variations, as you could see. Once you click into it, I went ahead to click on upscale subtle and I was able to upscale it to the standard that I wanted. This is my base image. The first thing is to download the image to your computer and I'll click here, which is a download button. Once this is downloaded to the computer, we're going to take it into ChatGPT and we're going to say to ChatGPT to use this image to create a very short story for us. Let's head over to ChatGPT. Coming into ChatGPT, I uploaded the image we just downloaded from Midjourney and then I typed in this that I can ChatGPT give me a one minute story around this character and scenes where she makes bold statements? Obviously, you could ask ChatGPT to develop a longer length story. I just wanted to show just one minute. Now, it's important to mention at this point is this is what separates people who get demonetized on YouTube and people who actually do what is right. When you are generating stories from ChatGPT, 
please, after the story has been generated, make sure that you go in and make some changes yourself. Once you have the instructions typed here, just submit it and ChatGPT is going to use the character to start developing a storyline where she's going to say bold statements. This is what it generated for me. We'll just go ahead and ask ChatGPT to describe the details of each scene. And once we type that out, ChatGPT would go ahead to start describing the visuals, the mood, even the line the character is going to say. Now, this is important because we are using these details to generate the prompts that we'll be using in Google VO3. ChatGPT has gone ahead to describe a total of six scenes for us and the different lines. The next thing is to generate the prompt for Google VO3. To do that, we are going to re-upload back the image of the character. Once that image is re-uploaded, we are going to say that using Google VO3 that we want to animate this character based on the scenes and ChatGPT should give us a detailed prompt for that. I'll just type that in. I've gone ahead to submit the image and I said using Google VO3 that I would like to animate this character and it should start with scene one and also give me a detailed prompt. ChatGPT went ahead to give me a detailed prompt suitable for Google VO3. All right. For those who are asking sometimes for prompts, you could always ask ChatGPT, just tell it the AI tool you want to use and it gives you the appropriate prompt for that AI tool. This first prompt, as you can see, it gave a detail of the character and what the character will be doing based off of scene one. However, it didn't put in the line, so I asked it to add the line the character will be saying. Once we have this, we will do this for scene one all the way to scene six. Let me show you the next step of how then do we animate the character. And if you're thinking this is powerful, but I wish I had a full system to build a profitable faceless YouTube channel with tools like this. That's exactly why I created Accelerate. It's my step-by-step -step program that helps you go from zero to monetized using AI automation and proven faceless video systems without burning out or second guessing the process. If you want support, structure and shortcuts that actually work, click the link below to learn more and join the community. Copy this out of ChatGPT and we'll be heading over to Google Flow so I could show you how to animate the character. Coming over to Google Flow, we'll be using the frame to video. Google Flow has text video, frames to video. Initially, when Google VO3 was launched, you can actually animate images, but it doesn't add the voiceover or the sound effects. But due to the recent update that was made a couple of days ago, you are able to do that and that's why we're able to use images now to create consistent character video. Just one single image will be using frames to video. Once you click on frames to video, this comes out and it asks you to add what image do you want to use. I'll click here to upload the image or you could generate an image for yourself because we already have our image. I'm going to select that image and then it adds it to the first first frame. We're going to now paste this prompt that ChatGPT generated for us. I'm going to remove the lip sync line and say, she then says, okay, and then make sure I remove any gap. Then at the beginning, because you could see it just says a fierce 20 year old and then went ahead. We want to create a video, just type, create a video of and the prompt is ready. The next thing would be to choose which model you want to use. If you click on the settings, it gives you the ability to choose the number of outputs. I normally use two, just it doesn't burn through my credit. The model that you need to use is Google VO3 Fast or Google VO3 Quality. The Fast uses less credit while the Quality uses more credit. It's important for me to mention that in the prompt, as you could see here, it just says a fierce 20 year old African warrior. It's important to mention that this is animated. Otherwise, it's going to make it look human like. Let's make sure that we have added in 
3D pixel style animation just to be sure that it maintains this as an animation because this particular animation is almost realistic. Once we make sure that the prompt is correct, we'll just go ahead and click on submit and it will go ahead to start generating the videos. The two videos of eight seconds each are generated. I will just go ahead and play the first one and then afterwards play the second one. Then you could see how both of them sound. I am Ayana, born of the mountain, raised by the storm. I am Ayana, born of the mountain, raised by the storm. As you can see that the quality of the video looks really good. Once you choose a particular video that you like, you just click on the drop down here and it would ask you what size. The highest you could upscale it is to 1080p. You upscale it and once it's done upscaling, you can download it to your computer. And that's how I was able to generate all the clips that I used for the trailer. Now, let me quickly show you while this is up scaling how you could use open art to generate the same video coming over to open art once you sign in you click on videos and once you click on video you'll be selecting a particular video model that you want to use in this situation we are going to go to image because we want to use our own reference image and then we will choose google vo3 go ahead to drop the image of choice here here I'm just going to type our just a quick text and then just take note that it charges about 2,500 credits to use Google VO3. The good thing about this is that you're not just only getting Google VO3, you are getting access to everything that OpenArt offers because it's an all-in-one platform. I'll just click on generate and it will start generating. While this is generating, when I was testing this, it's important to mention that if your image has a child or the AI detects it's a child, it's not going to generate that image. It's going to say content violation. So you are aware the video is generated. Let's play it and see what the result is. Subscribe to the Zinni Studio. What are you waiting for? this turned out really good and to download it you just use here that says download and then it downloads straight to your computer that's how to generate the video using google vo3 through open art now that we have generated all the clips the next step would be editing but before we edit, you could notice that the initial clip I showed you in Google Flow, the voiceover is different from the voiceover we got from OpenArt. There's a way to make sure that the voice is consistent. And to do that, we'll be heading over to 11 Labs. The first thing you need to do is to click on Voice Changer. It opens up upload the video you want to switch the voice, select any voice of your choice and then click generate. Once the process is done, go ahead and download the new swapped audio file. Do the same for all the clips that needs that done and save them to your computer. The next step is putting everything together using a video editing tool. The video editing tool I'll be using would be CapCut. But before I show you how I was able to create this timeline in CapCut, let me first address a question I received in my last video where someone was asking about CapCut's terms of service. So please, I'm going to leave these terms of service in the description and you could go ahead and read it. But just to give a bit of highlight, CapCut have tried to clear the confusion and to also state that they don't own your content. Please go ahead and read this and be clear about CapCut's terms of service. If you're not comfortable with CapCut, by all means, use any other video editor out there you are familiar with. If there's any specific one you want me to cover, like DaVinci Resolve or any other video editor, let me know in the comment section. Once we come into CapCut, I have gone ahead to bring in all the clear 
clips that I'm going to use. As you could see here, I went ahead to bring in a music that I wanted to use because VO3 doesn't give you like a consistent music. I wanted to use a music of my own. The first thing I did was to start bringing in, according to each scene, bring in each of the clips into the scene. Now, what you would notice here is that you would see me having some areas being short and some areas being long because I wanted it to be a bit seamless. I took clips of some video clips VO3 generated for me and I made sure that they are seamless. I placed each of them at very strategic points and to make sure they are seamless, I went ahead to add transitions in between like I showed you in my previous video. These transitions will make it feel cohesive. All right, and then I went ahead to add voiceover. Apart from the voiceover that Google VO3 generated for us, I wanted to add a different narration voice in some places. I generated that voice in 11 labs and placed it right here, and then went ahead to place the audio that I wanted at the base. That was all that I did, and then the whole video just came together. I've gotten a lot of requests on detailed video editing. Not to worry, that video is coming up very soon and it's going to be a long video where, where I go in depth explaining my thought process when it comes to editing your faceless videos. And that's how you go from a single image to a fully animated, voice synced and polished video using Google VO3. With the right setup and a few smart tricks, you can create studio quality content in minutes. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. For more AI powered video tutorials, got questions or want me to cover another tool, drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next next one.